Hey, it's Wednesday. Welcome back to you. An incredibly sunny day here in Santa Barbara. It's a rarity. It's a rarity. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to talk about the weather. I want to talk with you about sibling rivalry. Whether you've got the two, three, four, five or more kids, I can't even imagine. I've only got two. And they're driving me crazy some days. I feel like I'm the full-time referee. I got my black and white striped shirt on. I got my whistle out. And they're going at it all the time. It's the bickering. It's the fighting. It's the, you know. What are you doing? Why can't you just be kind to each other? Again, not a learned behavior, especially when kids spend that much time with each other. It's gonna happen, it's never gonna be perfect. You know, I, I don't know any families where the kids get along 100% of the time, but it could be better at times as well. So, a couple of ideas. Old school approach, send the kids outside, shut the door, they'll deal with it, they'll fight it out didn't work out so well for my sister and I growing up. She came in, she had a bruise on her arm. So, you know, you gotta try something different, right? Go to your room. Old school approach number two. It works because it gets rid of the kids at that moment, right? They can't fight with each other when they're in their separate rooms. It doesn't really change the behavior. So a couple of new school ideas I wanna share with you. Number one, actually an idea passed along from a friend. As soon as the fighting or the bickering or the unkindness starts showing up, you call them on it. Right then, it's, I'm not going to hear any more of it. And you need to say something kind to your brother, to your sister. Right then, you got to stop, come up with something kind to say in a genuine way. Real easy to fake that in a genuine way before we move on. Okay, that's a tough one. That's a tough one but I encourage you, challenge you to take that into consideration. Number two, start to define certain areas of the home that are kindness areas, where the expectation is absolutely 100% kindness. Perfect plot, dinner table. Okay, if you find that your family is coming together at the dinner table, a whole nother topic, but defining that area as when we are here at this table together, it's all about kindness. If that means you start out the meal and before anybody touches the food, it's a quick round of appreciations or acknowledgements. Hey, thank you very much for what you did earlier for me today. I want to acknowledge the great work that you did on your homework last night. Something that kind of gets everybody in the mood, talking kind. Strategy number three, something I've talked about before, I call it the weekly check-in. It's a little different than the family meeting, but same idea. Specify a time during the week where the family comes together to talk about things that are important to the family. A couple of the ground rules, of course, we're not going to be shouting, right? We're going to talk only using kind words. We're going to talk about issues. We're going to talk about things that are important, but we're going to use civil voices to do it. And then you have to practice that. It's practice, it's practice, it's practice. So the kids, after a while, this isn't an overnight fix, after a while, they start to develop those habits on their own. Right? All right, so a couple new ideas. Hopefully we're gonna minimize the sibling rivalry. I don't know if we're ever gonna get rid of it, but as I said earlier, maybe it could be better. Hey, hope you're having an incredible Wednesday. I will see you back tomorrow. Take care.